constipated and I can't eliminate and I'm bloated. And uh, if it's a mold presentation, that's the problem. And then the digestive system is just an expression of the root cause issue, which is the mold. And I like to think about mold illness as the number one priority and then everything else is a consequence of that number one priority and that's why a lot of people or how a lot of people are getting that kind of switched around they're trying to treat their gut because they don't know about mold and they're not getting anywhere and then we find the mold and we work through a detox and then go back to treating the gut and it works a lot better so the constellation of symptoms on the digestive front with mold affected people would be persistent bloating, gas, slow motility, sluggish gut, poor bile flow, because remember mycotoxins travel through the bile, they're fat soluble, and then the last really, really big one would be constipation. And that could be your typical constipation where you're just not having bowel movements, or the other really big one would be incomplete bowel movements, um, which, is a, which is a really big piece.